All right, let's get out of the way. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment if you'd like. The angel next door spoils me rotten, episode one starts off with. Your typical quiet guy who walks home alone. And unbelievably, he almost passes the most beautiful angel in this world. If it wasn't for those feathers, he would have just passed up on this opportunity to give that girl his umbrella. And now he has to walk home wet. But that wasn't his initial thought. At first he's thinking, ah, it's just a girl, let me just keep walking because it's me or her and I don't want to get wet. But then he sees her crying and he thinks, oh man, I should help her out. So he gives her the umbrella. It was really difficult to give her the umbrella because she says, I don't need it, I don't want you to get wet. But he says, I insist if you're going to sit there all day. So he runs home and the next day he's just sneezing up a storm. He's like, achoo, achoo. And he tells his best friend that he gave his umbrella to, guess what, the most popular girl in the school and that's why he gave it to her. But isn't it always the popular girl that the main character has interactions with? She's the most popular girl for a reason, because she's really smart, really athletic, really good at academics. And we're talking about top of the class type stuff, not just, oh, she gets B's, A's, no, she gets like S grades. But the cool thing is that she's kind and humble, so that's great. After they make a long list of her redeeming qualities, now I understand why they call her a fucking angel. She's great. And I don't know what you guys think of this, but I think the animation looks pretty shitty, to be honest with you. It looks like this was a visual novel or something, or some type of fan animation that's really well produced. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. But I'll give it some points for this. His best friend, which they never have girlfriends, this one does. So he goes home, and when he's on the elevator, he's thinking, Oh man, I feel really sick. I need to go lie down. But when he gets out, you won't believe it. The angel girl's there, and she says, Here's your umbrella. But he doesn't really need the umbrella anymore, but she insists on giving it back. So he grabs it aggressively, and then she says, Hey, you have a fever, don't you? But he says, Don't worry about it, I need to go lay down right now. He struggles opening his door, so she holds him up and says, You look really bad, and I'm gonna return the favor and help you get better. So she opens the door, and it's a fucking filthy mess in there. And I'm thinking, Is it because of the rain, or does he not take care of himself? And I was wondering why he wasn't freaking out about this girl randomly appearing. I was also thinking, how the hell did she find his house? Well, guess what? They're fucking neighbors and they didn't even explain that. I'm thinking this because if I knew that they were neighbors, I would have judged the character more and said, that's why you're doing all this stuff, because she lives next to you. She's not a complete stranger and she can always help you out because she's right there. And so eventually he gets some rest, he sleeps for a while and he wakes up. And she has a bunch of stuff for him to get better, specifically to help his immune system. And he pauses for a second, he's thinking, wow, she can cook? Of course she can cook, she's got everything, haven't you noticed? And then he asks her, why were you in the rain just sitting there on the swing? Were you dumped by your boyfriend or something? Or was there two boyfriends you had? And I'm thinking, yeah, I want to know too. But instead of focusing on the porn question, they end up just talking about the boyfriend conversation for about 10 minutes. And when they get to the really important question, she just says, oh, I was trying to cool my head. Fuck that. What the hell? And on top of the what the hell, he says, tomorrow I won't bother you anymore and I won't talk to you at school anymore. And there's two reasons why that probably won't happen. One, he can't go to sleep because he keeps thinking about how tomorrow they're going to be strangers again. And two, when he goes home the next day, he's drinking his immune system supplement and she's outside talking to him. And since she's an angel, she notices that this nerdy kid has not taken care of himself, so she cooks a meal for him. And the next day, and the next day, and for the preceding couple of weeks, too. And she swears it's because she wants him to get more healthier, and in general, just take better care of himself. He gets so self-conscious, I guess he asks his best friend, Hey, do I look really unhealthy? And he says, Yeah, of course, you always do. But that's just the way that you look. And so he goes home, and the first thing he does is go to the grocery store to pick up some food. She's there, and she needs help getting some more ingredients, because there's some ingredients that you can only take one per customer, and since he's there, now they can save twice as much. Because her family gives her money, but she doesn't want to spend it all because she thinks that's a burden. What an angel! And so after that, he goes home and tries to clean up his shit, but he can't finish it all by himself, so she goes over and tries to help him. And while she's trying to help him, there's too much shit on the ground, so she trips, and this scene just looks really weird. And as a way to repair for all the food she made and cleaning up his shit, he pays for a $15 pizza that has four different ingredients on it. And she's never had fast food pizza because at home she has cooks that cook for her. And he says, wow, you must be fucking rich. And she says, well, not rich, but well off. And so after the conversation for a while, she goes home and he says, hold on, why do you keep cooking for me? And she says, oh, because it's uncomfortable thinking of how much you eat and what stuff you put in your mouth. Plus, she just likes cooking for people. And to put the cherry on top, she says, don't even worry about it. And then he says, wow. And the episode ends. All right, the question of the day is, do you think she's truly an angel or do you think she's just a nice girl? Or something else? All right, peace.